بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام الأتمان الأكملان على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين Introduction to the obligatory knowledge of the religion I start my authorship of this with the name of Allah Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim That is, I mention his name seeking blessing by it Along with the praise to Allah, Alhamdulillah, the Lord of the worlds, that is, the owner of whatever came into existence, the one who is attributed with life, Al Hay, the one who does not come to an end, Al Qayyum, and the one who decreed all the acts, sayings, and conditions of the creations. I ask Allah Ta'ala to raise the rank of our Master Muhammad and his good and pure Al and companions and to protect his nation from that which he fears for it. Thereafter this is a summary that is few words with many meanings inclusive of most of the obligatory knowledge that every accountable person cannot do without and is obligated to know. This comprises the obligatory knowledge pertaining to belief, issues from purification, tahara, up to pilgrimage, hajj, including prayer, zakah, and fasting, and some rules of dealings like renting and hiring, qirad, collateral, and the like along with showing the rules of riba and some forbidden sales, according to the madhhab of Imam, the famous Mujtahid, Muhammad ibn Idris al-Shafi'i, the Qurashi, and Muttalibi. May Allah raise his rank, who was born in the year 150 after the Hijrah, and died in the year 204 after the Hijrah. The obligations of the heart, sins of the heart and of the other organs such as the tongue and the different parts of the body such as the abdomen, eyes, ears, hands, private parts and feet are also included. The book is concluded with a section on repentance. The original book from which the author took his book, the summary, is Sulam al-Tawfiq إلى محبة الله على التحقيق was written by the Hadrami Faqih scholar Abdullah ibn Hussein ibn Tahir the son of Muhammad the son of Hashim al-Shafi'i al-Alawi born in the year of 1191 after the Hijrah and died in the year 1272 after the Hijrah Many precious issues were added to the book that show out the concealed contents of the book and clarify them. On the other hand, what the author of the original book mentioned of Sufism, which is not of the obligatory knowledge, was omitted. Some sentences were changed to make them more clear, in such a way that the subject would not be changed. In a few cases, the author mentioned what some Shafi'i scholars like Imam Sirajuddin Umar ibn Raslan al-Bulqini who was born in the year 724 after the Hijrah and died the year 805 after the Hijrah preponderated in an effort to clarify what was weak in the original book. 